Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain the problems you face in the ICM 3FD hexam machine. Sometimes we get the very low quality elements without any reason. Now let me show you one case. This is the hexam machine of the full ML body with the legs which are placed on the floor. As you can see this is a very complex blocking and after working for the 5 to 6 days I am able to make the blocking very nicely and with the very good quality mesh. But the problem is ok let me first uh, display the surfaces of the ML body and also let me hide if there are any solid parts which are basically inside the ML body and these four legs so these are already unselected so don't need to worry about these blocks which can give you idea the false idea that the mesh is as, uh, has uh, some problem so uh, everything is all right and if you look if you look at the mesh this also looks fine we definitely still it, it may require some some adjustment but uh, whatever is there they this is pretty in the final shape so if I run the scan plan and turn off the the, the, uh, the display of the edges and the points, surfaces and, cur and the curves. You can see that the, the mesh is uh, uh, of pretty high quality and the angles also you can see at the different blocks uh, interface is also good enough. And if you want to make uh, mesh this closer you can place uh, spacing such a way that this should be matching the spacing on this block and here it should be same that can be done very easily and as you can see here the, the angle is pretty good uh, not a bad angle here also you can run if, if you have the time and the good good computer resources you can write you can run the uh, what we call is the, uh, the mesh smoother so this can be done from here with an option for the quality Improvement on smoothing mesh. So you can run the orthogonality and yet you can try and you can apply here. This will make the all the edges which are at a sharp angle, this will try to make the make them of the 90 angle. So uh, by this I mean that the, if this is a very sharp angle, then the smoother will try to make it in a way that the the angle you will get is is orthogonal angle means everywhere you will get the 90 degrees angle in the cell which will give you the orthogonal quality is equal to 1 but right now this is not a problem with this mesh the problem is, is basically is in the in the some some say some cells which have the some very low quality mesh so let me display the angle, this is here, it is showing the 9 degrees, okay, and the quality is uh, pretty decent, greater than 0.7, so let me show you where, where the problem of the angle is. So just click on the 9 and the uh, angle between 9 and 18 degrees. You will notice that the problem is at the at the front side. Okay. So to solve this problem, we can move the edges a little bit, and this problem can be solved. So just let me allow to select the edges which are in the vicinity of the 
this ml body is front so I will use the index control and I will try to select the corners so that I can limit the mesh in the region where I want to improve the quality of the mesh so one region is here so I can improve the quality of the mesh here by moving the these vertices to the outer side so I will go to the move vertices and use the first option and I will set the direction by using this command and use this edge to drive my movement of my vertices so this this may sometimes this may make a problem so you have to try this multiple times yes now we are selected and now you can go to the vertex and move it outwards now again check the quality So still we have the some regions with the bad quality mesh. So I will now I will use the, the second command that is set location and I will choose a vertex here and I will modify the X and sorry Y and Z coordinates of the corresponding vertices. Okay, similarly for the second one and then the corresponding vertex you can check the quality again Okay, now uh, to set the quality further, I will move the vertices in the upper direction and as well as on the right and the left side. So before that, allow me to make them align to the corresponding vertices. So I will just set the Z location for these corresponding vertices so first on this edge and then on the next edge okay I will now move the blocking in the upper direction This can be a very time consuming process to make the mesh quality better. As you can see now we are improving quality a uh, little bit. Now I will move the vert these vertices further on the upper side. Now you can notice that the minimum angle is improved from the 9 degrees to 27 degrees. Now you can set the height of uh, these corresponding two vertices at the same level. Okay, next thing is to 
change the length of uh, this edge a uh, little bit so that it should be comparable to the edge over here so i will go to the the next command which is the set the edge length i will choose the edge and write down length is 0 0.08 0 0.084 units so just make it 1.2 Sorry, not 1.2 but 0.12 this should be the point 0.12 so around 40% increase in the length of the edge And similarly on the upper side you can also change the length or, or you can directly modify the these vertices corresponding to these vertices by modifying the x uh, y and the z coordinates so choose uh, the vertex on this edge on the one side and then choose the second vertex on the second side to make it at the same location in the y and the z as corresponding vertex on the other side of the edge and similarly for the second one Uh, now I want to change the length of the these uh, edges one two and this number three so let me make it point one five apply so we have improved the angle a lot of uh, a lot of uh, angle improvement is there now minimum angle is 30 degrees and uh, if you want to run the uh, scan plane so I can show you that the, the mesh quality looks very great here and angles also improved and uh, further improvement can be done with the help of the edge spacing so if I copy the edge spacing from this uh, lower edge to the, to the upper edge and apply this spacing on all the edges with some ratio let's say it's 1.15 I can I can make the mesh transition much more smoother and this will also uh, increase the quality of the mesh so angle is uh, will remain same but I can see the determinant quality now it's a 0 0.8 from 0 0.7 to the 0 0.8 so if you reset the index control you will see that the same problem is on the other side and uh, if you replot the quality and uh, if you look at the, the regions where we have the problem you will notice that the, this is now on the on the other side of the blocking Can change the color also to make them uh, visually correct okay you can run also the skin plane here to look at the problem area that why we are facing this one so just move the what the scan plane to the problem area and uh, you will you will immediately notice that the what the what the problem is is there the problem here is the the very high angle Uh, 
uh, one issue is a very very uh, different size change between the two blocks so you can uh, modify this behavior okay so and second issue one is to make the size similar so I will I will uh, limit the blocking in this region So let me move the vertices. So first, I will I will set the according to the the vertex. Uh, I will directly set the height based on this vertex. So it should be in the Z direction. And the corresponding vertex here and similarly for the second vertex and the corresponding vertex on the other side next thing is to modify the X location so now I am I'm almost done so now I can again run the the skin plane and now you can observe that the mesh is uh, improved a lot yes you can also place a plane here and now you can notice that the quality has been improved a lot so this is uh, how you can change the mesh quality of your hexa mesh we are providing the a course on the Udemy which is uh, at the moment is at, at very low price you can join this course right now uh, this course is up for last six days and uh, total one eleven students have joined this course and uh, we have the great reviews from the our students and uh, i hope that you will also learn icm cfd in a very short time by attending this course so there are the seven lectures total contains one hour and we are adding more lectures more and more lectures also i'm adding the cfx part the cfx3 cfx solver and the cfd post to complete the solution of the one problem in a, this one course. Thank you.